What's up, folks? Samurai King 8 is here today to talk about and review the new One Piece chapter 747. I think it is titled Top Executive Pika. So that should give you a good idea of what we saw with this fucking chapter. And this chapter had a lot of good stuff happening. It was really, really good. Great. Close to great. I would say top five of the um, chapters that came out this year. Top, top five. So that's pretty good. Um, I broke it up into three parts, three main parts. And um, let's go here. All right. First part, we see the Marines interacting with uh, Fujitora and telling him, like, uh, well, it, it's not really all the Marine, it's just Mayart, Maynard. He's saying, like, look, Fuji, Toro, we need to uh, um, arrest um, Doflamingo. You see what he's doing right here. He's controlling all the people, killing all the people. We need to do something about him. And we also see that, um, well, Maynard is just talking to everybody. Him, the guy with the mask, uh, he's just talking to everybody. And they all, basically, he just wants his uh, head. He wants Doflamingo head. And it's funny because I was like, Maynard, where the hell have you been? <laughs> where have you been, Maynard? Like, uh, last time we saw you, you got your ass beat by fucking Bartholomew. Now, uh, he may have appeared in a more, more recent chapter. I just don't have him remember, uh, remember him seeing his face and stuff. So we also see that some of the bigger name guys who was down in the uh, underground who turned to toys are starting to go to the surface now. Like the giant um, Sin Jiao, which is the main one for me. They all up. Like, oh yeah, ready. Send y'all like he look out of. He like ah, the fuck, H hold his head and shit. So um, so yeah, we go there and then we see Koala. She doing some uh investigation and we see there's a lot of secrets in the underground harbor, uh where, where they do the trading and stuff at. So like from another country, I think um, Dorina, Dorina, Kingdom trading place, uh with trading um boat and stuff like that. It's disguised as a pirate ship. So it's some under. It's some fucking underlayer shit that's going on in this country that didn't dress for us we don't even fucking know about. So, my God, it, it's it's getting crucial. And so, yeah, like I said again, we saw Fuchitori talking, and he is crying. Well, damn near crying because he can't arrest Doflamingo. He said, all we got is a government god. Do, do all we do is cause destruction? Now, <laughs> I don't want to step into the religion stuff like that, but he has a point. Uh, they can't do anything to this guy because he has major pull. I don't know if he got dirt on Ak Akainu. Uh, is is a uh, Akainu? Yeah, Akainu. And um, fuck. Uh, the C celestial dragon thing. Is, is he related to them? Does he have tight with them? So I mean, we don't know. And uh, and also we, we get some good, uh, <laughs> a, almost like a bombshell with Doflamingo a little later. And um. So yeah, we see that, and then we see um, Don Flamingo talking to the rest of the executives with Pika, Baby Five, and all them. And um, we see Sugar there knocked out, and Lao G. I, I, I drew a good comparison with this and Hunter Hunter with the uh, UP, um, UP, and uh, Poof and the King Merriam stuff going on. Like we saw, Poof is trying to do everything for the king, and he even he doing so much for the king, he's not even telling the king what he's doing for him, and it's it could kind of possibly hurt the king what he's doing to him, and that's what I see here, <clears throat> because the king he forgave Yuppie for letting Knuckle, um, Knuckle's men mentor and uh, the traitor chameleon guy go away, and uh, uh, Lao Ji in in this moment act like Poof saying, uh, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? You let the Mary Mary and Amigo and the fucking um, uh, Sugar get knocked out. Trey Ball and uh, Diamante. And Don't Forget was like, uh, well, I don't really give, give a fuck about that. Let's buy guns, be got by guns, and stuff like that. And, uh, and it was funny, you see fucking um, uh, Trey Ball and uh, Diamante like this. Yeah, yeah, suck it, Lil G. Uh, if, if Don't Forget, forget we forget myself. I'm like, there you go, man. That's what you need to do to fucking poop. Like, man, poop, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Let's do that. If, if you guys haven't seen my review on uh, Hunter Hunter, check that shit out. Check that shit out. Check that shit out. It should be under the video somewhere. Check that shit out. Some good shit. Show some good shit too. And so we also see Pika is all buffed and shit, huge and shit. We see his human form now. This is like how he look as a normal human. Well, in his normal state, this is his normal state, base state basically. And he is a really big, giant, muscular dude. You know, with little short legs like we do in One Piece all the time. 
and <laughs> his, his voice is apparently really fucking hot. I mean, like, you see him, he, he's a menacing looking guy, and you picture him, like, oh my god, you guy. <laughs> it, it'd be funny to hear, hear him say that. And, like, you see the other men are laughing, like like the lower level guys, like the fucking father guys, laughing at him. And, like, one other guy, I'm like, look, man, you didn't shut the fuck up, dude. Don't laugh at this dude. And, and people were like, what the fuck? Are you laughing at me? I'll bury you guys in stone. And, like, he was about to attack him, and then Bay 5 blasted him. And uh, she was basically saying, like, look, if you do that, their fans won't have, even have a court. And I was like, okay, well, th this is a, a group of villains where they care about one another. Like, we've seen so many times where villains don't care about one another, and we see here that they do somewhat. Far. I mean, she did, in a way, Bay 5 protected them, but by blasting them, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, split, I, guess, I guess I'm splitting heads, I guess. I don't know. And so, uh... We see uh, Del Flamingo, he had the keys to the uh, factory and saying if these guys want to destroy it, uh, here's the key they, it, it, because of the sea stone around it. But uh, he also breaks the keys like, oh, well, that's, there goes the hope. Just like what said, man, you just gave, gave away the last piece of hope. And it was hilarious. And um, yeah, that's that. Okay, now after the whole Pika and his voice hilarious thing, uh, we, we see Del Flamingo, he says, uh, I don't have anything. Like, like you guys don't don't, don't you laugh at my family. The, the executive like my family. Don't you guys laugh at them? Um, I lost my fa my mother at eight, and I killed my dad at ten. I'm like, whoa, Don Flamingo. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, damn, that's a hard fucking life to be doing shit like that. So um, look into his past a little bit, and see, and that breaks all that rumor about him being related to Sabo, like he's his brother and stuff like that. Because people say he looking like like him. I don't really see it particularly. I just think they think they draw on the like how a lot of characters in One Piece are drawn on like it looks somewhat similar. But um uh yeah, it, it just eliminates that fucking theory. And I never really think that thought that theory was that good. Anyway. But uh yeah, we see that and it, it, this is what my th thing I'm saying. Dopamigo has to be the best villain in One Piece yet that has faced the straw hats yet. Cause I know in the future we're gonna have some big name people fighting going against them. But in terms of his mindset, he's smart. Okay, he's smart, evil, and, and um, don't give a fuck. Basically, like, look what he's doing to the damn town, uh, the city, the, the country. He had a he had think about it. He has a whole country confined, <laughs> and not only had them confined, he got them killing each other. Or oh, and not only had them killing each other, he got them playing a game in his. Oh my god, on some Joker shit, like Batman Joker shit. That's why he got that name, and. After that, we see, um, um, oh shit, I forgot his name. Senor Pink, there we go. Uh, he's there with the, the, the Vibes dude, that big fat guy. And Luffy drop, jumps in down right there. And it was funny what, um, uh, Luffy, what Zoro said. Because they, they, where they are, it's a boss ass setting where they at. A bunch of guys are surrounding them. And Luffy, Law, and Zoro, and Zoro said, well, it don't matter where we would land, because we're in deep shit anyway. <laughs> and um oh also for that I get to that. We got a quick little update with Sun uh, I'm sorry, oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sanji. I'm sorry. I know we won't an update with you, but not you yet. Not not yet, not yet. Uh with Frankie, he's going to destroy the uh factory. He has I guess he had a, a extra cola somewhere stashed on on him in him, so I don't know. But uh he seems to have got some energy and now he hit his face and going to uh go destroy the factory. He said, uh all I need is one blast this shit right there, they'll do it right. So that's pretty cool, and uh, we we get, we get the little comedy with um, Law telling uh, Luffy, as soon as you get my cuffs off, I'm coming for your head first, cause you the cause of all this shit. <laughs> and that was funny to me. And let me see, and then, and then uh, we see, uh, uh, well, it wasn't really a fight. They tried to attack Luffy, Zoro, and Son. Uh, oh my God, Luffy, Zoro, and Law, Senior Pink and them. They tried to Senior Pink hold held his legs and the. Uh, Big guy tried to, t to destroy him, and it was funny. Zoro just kicked Dillinger, his weird looking self, cross dressed himself, and Luffy flung him, uh, propelled himself away from getting crushed. Him and Law, and they're like, "Holy shit, you're heavy! Oh my god, you fat bitch!" and all that stuff. And then we see a great scene, and I can't wait for this shit. I'm gonna see my boy putting that fucking work. Zoro versus fucking Fujitora. A battle about to happen. And uh, because he stands up, he like ain't no bullets gonna work in these guys. We need me. I'm gonna destroy these guys. 
And so after that, we see Robin. They're trying to get to where everybody else is at. Um, uh, King Riku and all that. We see them. They're looking up and they see big ass Pika. And he's talking like, I'm ready to fuck some shit up. Yeah, I'm here. And I'm about to do some shit. I'm about to fuck all you guys up. And the niggas, the niggas talking. And Luffy is fucking crying laughing at this dude. Like, listen to his voice. And he's like, straw her. I'm going to kill you. And so, this shit look like it's set up for some great shit. So, so look like we're going to have Law, Luffy, Zoro versus Fujitora and a giant Titan, Colossal Titan, Pika. And... That's it for me. That's it for the chapter. We're going of like rehashing the chapter. Really great chapter. I love it. I love it. Enjoyed it. Great chapter. Great, great plus chapter. Yes, a nice setup for a great fight that's gonna be in the next episode. I mean, what's on next episode? Next chapter. So that's it, Samurai King Eight. Um, I also want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, give, give me a thought about what you, what you guys think is going to happen on this crazy ass island. And will we ever, ever, ever get an update on Sanji since I've missed you twice? So, is it for me? Samurai King 8 is.